uncertain. So you basically uh, run pure data on the Arduino? Yeah. Uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it's just putting up and calling out the patch. Yeah. And it's sequential too. So I can uh, delete, run the mic. And you have also some knobs. Yeah. Uh, the, the knobs are 3D printed and also the knobs. I could talk for one hour just about the knobs, so I better keep moving. Yeah? But uh, it are again a copy of the Moog uh, knob, which I think is sexy, cool, and perfect. But they're uh, flattened to be portable. Because they, they, I have also the original uh, uh, 3D print clone of the Moog knob. The thing is, when you grab them, there is a big difference between grabbing, you know, the classic uh, Volca, when you just tweak the shaft. Uh, you could do this test at home, for instance. Uh, when you just start tweaking the shaft, and you think, okay, let's see how many steps I can do, you know, until I uh, reach the end of the thing. You have very limited, but when you have a, a, a wider knob, you are super precise. For instance, if you are scaling through numbers, you can stop exactly one number. You are much more precise when you have this size of number. I mean, bigger will be too big, and smaller, they may be maybe too small. And I like this size, it's my personal thing. Uh, just to be perfect, the FM synthesizer. Patches, the, the engines are soup patches, and I could have here 20 different, okay. and they're kind of dormant when they are not being sequenced or played. Yeah. Okay. They are yeah. sleeping. Yeah. So the DSP is turned off for the patches that are not generating sound. Is it a soup patch? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to do that. Calculate a DSP where there's active signal. Mm. Yes. Well, just in case, they just turn off the DSP <laughs> and the should you know, uh, the, the One of the good things, I would say the biggest abundance about coding in the Raspberry Pi is that it's kind of spanking you all the time and, and teaching you to code clean and efficient. And there's many things in PD, these tricks, like when you put a filter, a delay, you have to put a bit of noise there and th- this will keep the CPU fine. There's already things that uh, sometimes I'm like, what the fuck do I have to know this? But well, the thing is, I'm keeping the CPU very low. So it's still, this thing, I can, I could, this is now the sounder. So I can have like a metronome thing. samplers, the Moog clone and the FM synthesizer. Ah, Each one same. has a, a sequencer. There's also effects, but they are not patched to the interface. But yeah, because sometimes with the delay, there's this problem that sometimes in some situation it glitches, and we still have to discover why. So it could be connected. And it's not limited to also the interfaces. 
in this case, I'm uh, adapting to the limitation of the Arduino, like the um, 12 buttons, uh, 6 buttons. I'm not doing multiplexing or... My idea is actually to develop further this thing, make a Kickstarter, make a PCB thing that you could connect. Uh, really what I want for me is a powerful thing, like a quad core and a really industrial finished product that I can take with me, small on the road, portable, durable, efficient. But probably it works out good in a first instance to make something like a board for the Raspberry Pi, which has the controls very well designed, uh, and it's going to be cheap. And then the idea is that since it's for a Raspberry Pi, I can provide an image to download. So when you're programming for a Raspberry Pi, uh, and the hardware is uh, closed in a way, the thing is going to work. So if I make a product, the, the audio computer. So my goal is that I can put this hardware there, which is open hardware, and then uh, it comes shipped with the software working. The, you can still experiment with the infinity or PD patches all around. It can do granular synthesis too. But not not all the stuff like because I have a lot of code. But probably when I, when I put my code there. Probably it's not going to work, but the cool thing is that actually I can make it to work without degrading the sound, just changing some stuff. That the Raspberry Pi and these things are kind of constant uh, love and hate thing, I don't know, it's like a relationship. So there's amazing things like the, for me, the fact that, the fact that, that I can play a synthesizer with low latency good sound, uh, also the audio input thing, if I, like I could process an instrument. Uh, what's, what's the difference between um, playing that one with low latency and playing a, uh, a workshop with a small keyboard with no latency? What's the cost the for one? Workshop is $400. Thank you.